Welcome to NDZ, Niagara Discussion Zone, where the topic is anything and everything. This show is not politically correct and there are no safe spaces. We're honest, we speak our minds, and if you get offended, that's too bad. Consider this your only warning. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tony Caruso here. You know, we've been away for a little bit, but we're back in action. Hello, this is Andrew Little. How are you doing? Christian Mancuso here on Skype. How's everybody? How you guys doing? So uh, today we're going to be uh, discussing uh, a very controversial topic in regards to our New Year's concert. What is going on? Absolutely terrible. Um, this is the second year in a row uh, being stiffed in. I mean, this year they give April wine. I mean, are you kidding me? After all the good acts they've put and all the good publicity that brings, I mean, it, it, it's disgusting. And it's so wrong, too. You know, I like to quote something from 2005 from the Niagara Falls Review. And this is coming directly from our mayor. Jim Diodati. Yeah, 2015. Jim Diodati promised this will be a one-year bleep for the New Year's show. Details will be announced early in 2016 about a multi-year agreement for a national broadcast show starting next year. What national broadcast are we getting? Nothing with April Wine. Who would, who would ever watch that? Why would you put the TV on for that? That's terrible. Talk about, you know, I know the tourists are here anyway, are here anyway but holy man, like, you know, the, the local people in the city, they get it bad enough, but... What another spit in the face. And I know I read that quote and I remember that last year. I remember saying, okay, they must, something must have happened. They didn't get the deal done. Shaw Media or whatever. I know they do the broadcast and maybe something happened, a one year thing. But again, again, that's brutal. No, and it's wrong. And you know, and you know, you know what bothers me too? His second quote. He said, we had to take a step back in order to jump forward. Okay, okay, so now we actually took two steps back and nothing moving forward. Yeah, I don't for get his. That, for anything for the locals in this city, buddy, you might as well just put the car in reverse and fly backwards through the goddamn wall. It's fi- It's absolutely terrible. Uh, you know, I always thought of this as like, you know what, the, the New Year's Eve concert, I don't even care. I'm not a Garth Brooks guy, but I think that's awesome when they bring big talent in. It's good exposure for the region, this, that, and the other. And, and believe me, I think that's awesome. Um, but for me, it's like another spit in the face to the people, the locals. The tourists are going to be here anyway. Why put out the money? Well, you know what? That used to be a good thing for me and my family. And other families all go down, check out the concert, friends. But uh, why would you bother? Disgusting. I, don't, I, just, I just don't understand why they can't get the money. They do realize that putting this out on, on television, it's like major marketing. You, get, you put it out on television, people see how wonderful and happy Niagara Falls is. And I mean, it's an internationally recognized name, geographically speaking. So there's no excuse for them not to have some sort of televised uh, thing uh, thing for the the New Year's. So as far as I'm concerned, they've really, really done a disservice to Niagara Falls. Not only that, Andrew, but, you know, it's going to be on TV. And what's the major thing about TV? Okay, advertisements. So we have we have a lot of advertisements. Uh, m- millions of people across the world are watching us. Okay, they're watching Niagara Falls on TV. They're seeing us. They're seeing, uh, you know, we're a wonder of the falls. But yet we're not ex- advertising it. Okay, so this is this is Tony's solution on how to pay for this TV uh, for the broadcasting. Okay, so you got big shot hotels, you got big shot little restaurants, and all this other people charging a destination promotion fee. You know, Chris, we went to Hooters, and even Hooters is charging this destination promotion fee. Let's take some of that money, and let's put it towards and the advertising. Let's put it towards the broadcastings, so we can actually have this televised. Absolutely. There's no excuse. The only excuse is they're too busy trying to get other deals done to sell out our wetlands and to sell out this and that investments from other places you know uh they they care more about being in china and in romania than they do uh, giving like a you know a little token of appreciation i always thought of the concert is here's a thank you for us paying zero attention to you all year and only focusing on the tourist sector but here here's a nice concert bring in the new year and have a great time and i always appreciated that garbage city's trash tony i hate it 
No, no, no. The city's not trash. Okay, I'm, uh, Chris. Yeah. I, no, I disagree with you. Garbage. No, no, you're wrong. The city's not trash. Uh, okay, Chris. So you, uh, first and foremost, you're in the wrong for that. Second yeah. of all, Chris, it's the people that's actually uh, taking care of Niagara Falls. It's the people that were elected to the positions. Those people need to go. People in Niagara Falls vote them in every single time. They're trash too. You've become a part of the problem, not the solution. We need more people with solutions. Well, we know uh, people need to wake up a little bit. You know what I mean? People need Absolutely. to get out and vote. When there's only less than thirteen thousand and people voting i got a problem with that but you know what let's not let's not look at that right now because you know what we can do another show about that one about the voter turnout but let's just take a look at right now okay it has to do with money so if the city has a budget to pay over fifty thousand dollars on who's a bitch and the city can afford to have something to broadcast not only that, now the city has to deal with the ombudsman. Now the city wants to hire an integrity commissioner. The city wants to hire, uh, just throw away money, okay? So why don't we actually put... Children that can't get along, they're supposed to be a team. Oh, absolutely. They should be getting along. But unfortunately, you're right. They're not getting along. But that's not our problem. That has to do with City Hall. That has to do with the city's uh, administration and all that kind of stuff. So we need $2 million. You're telling me... You know what would have helped, Tony? Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars that they went over budget on a demolition. What a joke! Isn't okay, that, there you go. So six hundred fifty thousand plus the fifty thousand dollars. So we're at seven hundred thousand dollars that could go towards the the, the broadcasting. So there you go. So half has been paid. I'm sure the region would love to chip in. I'm sure other municipalities, because after all, we are the Niagara region and we are the wonder of Niagara because of the falls. You're telling me we cannot come up with another $1.25 million to, to broadcast this? Yeah, I don't understand why the region wouldn't pay. I mean, it's in the best interest. If the Niagara Falls hotels are all booked up and probably will be, that means the next closest hotels are in Niagara and Lake. Floral has some hotels. Well, they also have the Sheridan, uh, the Point, over uh, near Brock. Yeah, there's also hotels in St. Catharines, too. I mean, there's a lot of options. So that means all, all the businesses are it, that uh, in Niagara Falls, that's too busy. The ones around here are going to get business, too. So it's a regional issue. No, it's the, 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 this. The, I'm sorry. I'm very, very upset with this. This is 100% wrong. It was not thought out. The mayor promised, and it, he's been quoted, he's, he promised us that we will be getting a multi, what is it, a multi-broadcasting that, that he was saying over here. Multi-year broadcasting. Uh, multi-year bro broadcasting, and it was going to be announced early 2016. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen, for the viewers out there, say it again. I think he's a good mayor. I said, you know me too, I'm usually pro Jim Dio Daddy, but it's terrible. It's terrible. I would love to hear him come on or even answer. Maybe we can write him a letter or something. I would like to hear why it didn't happen. You know, well, I, oh, absolutely. And, and, and you know, Chris. I, I want to know because as a, as a local, it's terrible. Oh, absolutely, Chris. And you know what? I was just going to call him out right now. So I know Jim Deal Daddy and the rest of council listens to our broadcasting. I would like to invite the mayor onto our show, and I want him to explain to the residents of Niagara Falls, including our viewers, where is this multi... Uh, le uh, what is it? Say again. Oh, hold on. Multi-year deal. Multi -year deal. That he promised us. Where is it? Mr. Mayor, I would like you to come on our show. Or even if you don't want to come on our show, you need your safe space. Please send us a letter. I want you to explain to the viewers what happened. Why, wh what, why wh this is a broken promise that you gave to the residents of Niagara Falls. Explain yourself. Council, explain yourself. This is wrong. Well, yep. you know, hey, even if a counselor wants to jump in, they might have some ideas. I mean... Hopefully one of them leaves the uh, oversized boxing gloves at home. We wouldn't want anyone to get upset, but anybody is welcome. I just want to know why. No, I agree. Well, you know what? This is an interesting opportunity. Maybe it's time that uh, some local entrepreneur that really wants to delve into into that kind of a market of tele televising and uh, you know increase their the market share, maybe compete with global. Maybe they, they need to buy a channel be a little more recognized uh, internationally and start televising things. You know what it's time for in my book? People to go out and vote for change in this city because every year it's just in reverse, just backwards, bang, 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 through the wall every time. No, oh, I agree. And you know what? Uh, th things need to change. And uh, I feel that the people are realizing this. And uh, again, Chris, let's not jump the gun over here. Let's give uh, council the benefit of the doubt. 
And l let's let the mayor explain himself, including council, what went wrong here, and why did you lie to the residents of Niagara Falls when you said there's a promise and there was already a deal that came out? So be honest with us. Let us know that the deal failed, or just let's. I just want to know what happened. So I want council to explain themselves. I want to know what went wrong. Yeah, I think that's fair. But I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be the uh, the same old rhetoric from these politicians. And people are waking up. You see it worldwide. It's all talk, no action, and I expect that you'll get a big fat goose egg from anybody that wants to come explain. That's just what I think will happen. Hey, prove me wrong, and I'll, and I'll gladly ask the question to them, but uh, I don't see this happening. Well, it's all about let's make Niagara great again. That's Drain right. the swamp.